This video uh, is a demonstration of how you can use uh, low code or location code or locode.com to help you uh, with your micro navigation needs. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to Google and type in low code and if you scroll down you'll find a, a link to the low code project or you can also just go uh, to your browser and type in locode.com. Now, once you do this, this will bring you up to the low code homepage, and we can see a map of the continental United States. We also see uh, various text boxes that allows us in navigating the, uh, the page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at an example of how we can use low code uh, to navigate a, uh, a college campus. So let's uh, go to look up an address and the college campus that we're going to be navigating in this example is Clemson University in South Carolina. So I'm simply going to type in Clemson University in the lookup address text box. And when I do this, you see that it places a marker um, along with the latitude and longitude of Clemson University. So this is a map of the campus itself. If I go over here and click on the hybrid or satellite button, uh, we find a uh, a, uh, a satellite image of the campus. So let's suppose that you were going to visit the campus. The first thing that you would need to do uh, is go is find the parking services building or the visitor center and get a parking pass. So uh, because I have knowledge of the campus I know that this is the visitor center. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to find the entrance and I'm going to left click on the entrance, entrance and you'll notice it brings up a balloon that has the latitude and longitude along with this eight digit code and this is the location code uh, for the entrance of the visitor center. Um, so you can see that there is a link here uh, www.locode.com and then forward slash the uh, the low code itself. I'm going to simply right mouse click on this and go to copy link location. Now how can I use this URL, this hyperlink? Well uh, suppose that someone uh, wanted to visit the campus and I'm trying to uh, give them directions uh, to tell them how to get to the visitor center. So I could email this person. I'm going to email myself but this uh, low code for visitors Visitor Center, and I'm going to simply um, paste this link in the body of the email and click send. Now obviously, I sent this email to myself, so I received the email. I see this uh, URL, this hyperlink in the, the body of the email. So what does this do for me? Well, I'm going to close the low code uh, uh, homepage. I'm going to close this tab as if it were never open. And I'm going to simply click on this link. So when I click on this link, we see what happens. It brings up the low code web page and it places a small uh, marker on the map. So if I zoom in and go to satellite view, I can see that uh, it has placed a marker on the exact location that I had previously marked. So it places a marker on the entrance of the visitor center. So I could use this web page to mark a location. Uh, it's accurate within 10 feet. It has a resolution of 10 feet. And send someone this link and they know the exact location I'm trying, uh, trying to refer to. So this is one example, a very simple example, how we can use low code um, to, a, uh, to send uh, one location. But what happens if someone is visiting the campus and they want to visit uh, multiple places, multiple buildings, uh, multiple landmarks? Um, is there a way that I can, can um, specify multiple locations? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to go back uh, to a map of the campus. So let's suppose that someone, like I said, they were visiting the campus and I'm trying to give them directions. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first thing they need to do is go to the visitor center and get a, um, a pass, uh, a temporary parking permit. So instead of left mouse clicking, I'm going to right mouse click and go to mark low code. And this brings up a small marker with a uh, 8 to which is the low code. Now, once they get that parking pass, they need to know uh, which parking 
uh, lot they're going to be parking in. Suppose that they are visiting uh, this building. This is Freeman Hall, the Industrial Engineering Building. Uh, so let's suppose that this is the building that they're going to be visiting. Where should they park on campus? Well, because I have knowledge of the campus, I know that probably the best place to park is in this parking lot. So I'm simply going to right mouse click, mark low code of the parking lot. Then I'm going to click on the entrance of the building that they are going to be coming to. So like I said, this is Freeman Hall. I'm going to right mouse click and click on mark low code and this marks the main entrance of the building. So how can I use these three low codes? Well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor over the first low code and I see this balloon pops up. I'm going to click on copy low code and it brings up this dialog box with the low code. Then I'm going to place my cursor on the second marker click on copy low code and you can see how it has appended the second low code to the first low code but I want to send them three location codes. So now I'm going to place my marker on the third low code and click on this link, copy low code, and you can see that now I have three low codes that have been uh, placed in this dialog box. So what I'm going to do is highlight these three low codes, right mouse click and copy, and now I'm going to show you how you can use these three low codes uh, to send to someone in an email and how that will be useful. So I'm going to close once again the low code project tab and I'm going to create an email, send to myself and going to paste these three low codes and then I'm also going to paste the URL. But someone would know uh, how to use these if they f were familiar with the, uh, lo the low code website. Then I'm going to send this to myself and once I receive this email, now what do I do with this? Well, uh, the low code website is up. I've never heard of low code, let's suppose. So I would probably, if I were sending this email to someone, I would give some instructions that they should copy this string of text, highlight it, copy it, and then click on this URL, brings up the low code website, and then all you have to do is paste these low codes in this text box and click on map it. And when you do this, what do we see? We see that the, a, uh, the low code uh, website has deciphered these low codes and it has placed three markers. So let's go to satellite view and we can see that in fact the first marker is placed on the exact location of the entrance of the visitor center. Once that person has received the temporary parking pass, then they can go to the parking lot with the designated low code. And once they are in that parking lot, then they can travel to the main entrance of the building of interest. In this particular case is Freeman Hall. So you can use the low code website to uh, decipher these low codes, uh, but in the very future, the low codes are going to be deciphered by uh, either GPS units, handheld GPS units, or GPS enabled cell phones. So once you arrive on campus, you have the low codes of the visitor center or the parking lot or whatever building you want to go to, all you would have to do is place these codes in this handheld device. So once you got out of your car, the handheld device device would simply tell you that you needed to travel north, northeast, approximately ever how many hundred yards, and will tell you what direction you need to travel and how far away you are from that particular location. And this uh, mapping uh, program uh, or mapping scheme will get you within 10 feet of a specified location. So it's an extremely useful tool for micro navigation.